Today we're going to talk about durometer of rubber products. Durometer is a measurement of hardness and like other hardness tests measures the depth of indentation in the material created by a given force uh, using a standardized pressure foot. The ASTM D2240 standard recognizes 12 different durometer scales. Um, if we look at some of the most common scales used across the industry, uh, we can start with the Shore OO. Um, the indenter for the Shore OO is the uh, conical bottom there, and this scale is used for extra soft rubbers. Um, some examples of this would be like sponge rubber or gummy bears or even the uh, gel insoles for your shoes. Um, another very common durometer scale used in the industry is the Shore A durometer scale. Um, you can see that the indenter for this one is a truncated cone. Um, this durometer scale is going to cover your soft, medium, and hard rubbers. Um, some soft rubbers could be like rubber bands um, or a pencil eraser. Some more medium um, hardness rubbers would be car tires or a little bit harder than that, maybe the sole of your shoe. Um, and then after that, um, for much harder materials, we're going to jump up to the Shore D. You can see this is a 30 degree cone. Um, some examples of products you would use the Shore D hardness tester on would be uh, maybe like a shopping cart wheel, which is a very hard rubber, um, or even some plastics um, when you get to the higher range of the Shore D, such as like a hard hat or something like that. Um, another very common uh, durometer scale used in the industry is the IRHD, the International Rubber Hardness Degree. Um, this scale is very closely aligned with the Shore A, but it is not exactly equivalent. So we can't um, compare an IRHD to a Shore A and, and think that they're equivalent. Um, one important aspect to note is the test methods used when testing durometer. Um, when you're using any of these Shore OO, Shore A, Shore D, or the IRHD scales, you need to be using a large, thick, flat piece of rubber. Um, the piece of rubber needs to be a minimum of six millimeters thick and large enough that all of your measurements can be taken at least 12 millimeters from the edge of the material. Um, this can prevent or um, create um, some obstacles when you're trying to measure small rubber products such as O-rings. Most O-rings don't have a uh, six millimeter thickness. So if you're trying to use a Shore A durometer tester on your typical O-ring, that's gonna be an incorrect measurement method. It's not valid. Um, in the case that you do need to measure physical parts with small cross sections, you're gonna to have to use the Shore M durometer scale. Um, again, you can see that this is a 30 degree cone it is a little bit smaller diameter than the Shore D um, and also would have a different spring force applied to it. Um, but with this scale, you can measure samples as little as uh, 1.25 millimeters in diameter.